Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing part two of the build of the Lego Technic Kloss Zeron 5000 Track VC. This is how far we made it in part one. If you missed part one, check it out. There's a link down below. But right now we're just going to continue to move on with where we left off. So we've, we're in the middle of bags number one. There's a lot of parts in these bags. They basically broke it up, this set, into two parts. There's bags number one and bags number two. So bags one was the majority, or not, I would say the majority, but more than half of the parts um, are in bags one. And then bags two have the rest of the parts, obviously. Okay, so we have this little piece here. And there's a lot of stuff that is just loose and just kind of flopping around. We've, we haven't uh, connected everything yet. It's just a work in progress to say the least. Alright, two, four, five. Skip one. That goes there. Got this connector piece. And then a nine long. This slides on there, and then this piece sandwiches in there. So that slides along there. Alright, next we have this. Two of these red eight long axles. Both go there. And we'll take this connector. You see it a lot of these in this set where they're putting these two long axles on there. And then uh, sandwiching them, sandwiching a beam in between them or something of that nature. This friction pin here, three long piece that goes like this. And that will slide in here, attach another. there. So this slides in and out in there. So it looks like what we're going to do is put these on that, those non-friction pins and then this slides in right there. Now we're starting to connect some stuff. Kind of see how some of that interlocks. All right, let's not play with the model yet. Let's continue building. Move this to the side. We have a sub build. Three long axle with a stop. Goes like that. Alright, we need a um, angled axle joiner. This light bluish gray one with friction pin. this yeah so these are newer pieces these are um, little uh, axles with a perpendicular friction pinhole and that friction pin on the wrong side 
there for long axle with a stop goes here now we have two of these guys that have friction pins in them These both slide on the axles. Turn it this way. Bring this over. It slides on there. Okay, now everything is starting to come into place. Axles. Let's see, where's that one connector? This one. Sandwich this in there. Slide the red axle through. We have a friction pin with the toe ball goes there. Let's see, this piece then slides right here. Push that in. So this is our selector switch. Kind of see how, how that slides in there. that moves okay looks like it's good now we have some three long friction pins on this lift arm let's see there skip four holes and put one here another toe ball there Five long yellow axle. Now we have the five long lift arm. Single friction pin there. And this slides in there. nine long should perfectly fit there to hold everything in place another one of these axles with the perpendicular pinhole you kind of see how it creates a micro L shape take it like this this up how they showed the instructions it looks like that's it right there this one looks like it's similar to the one we just built model this way okay The 
nine long. It goes here. So that's kind of locking everything in place there. And we have one more. A couple pins attached to it. This piece gets a friction pin and then one of the little pin bushings. That's what I like to call it. Turn it this way and it slides in. There's two pins sticking out right here. That's basically just gonna go right on top of those. Cover that up. friction pin, another axle with a perpendicular pinhole, I'll go there, have the L-shaped lift arm, have the pin with the perpendicular pinhole, so it's similar to the axle version but it's a pin version. with a pinhole, I mean with a pin on the end, and then a regular friction pin there. orientation it slides in right there all right we have a three long axle with a stop we're going to slide this under Put this little selector gear over the axle and then this white connector gear or it's actually an axle joiner. Now this is the actual selector piece that goes over it. Then we'll put a five long axle right there. Next up, we're going to slide this little selector piece. It has this little knob sticking out the side. So we slide it through this gap in here. You have to make sure that it's lined up with the slot inside of there. And then we slide this axle with a stop all the way through like this. Now we have a couple axle joiners. Put a red axle, axle joiner, and a three long light bluish gray. And this will connect to that dark tan piece we just put on there. This 
is an axle with a too long friction pin. We have a T-shaped lift arm. And this pin with an axle joiner. Let's see, they show the model turned over. With this connecting in here. Kind of interesting. So we'll leave the model turned over, but we've got to build a sub assembly. Connect these pieces together. A friction pin in the middle. It's a red joiner piece. Friction pins. Then two pin bushings. Turn this over. That goes there, and then we push this in to hold it in place. Three long axle connecting there. These white joiner pieces, and that connects all the way in there. Seven long with a dark bluish gray joiner goes there. Next, a little sub assembly to do. Start with this piece. Black too long axle with a pin on the end. Axle joiner. These are the only two of these pieces that were in bags one. Let's see. Okay. We have some too long lift arms. Some three long friction pins with some pin bushings. Two of these T shaped thin lift arms. The axles in there. Now we slide this all the way up there. There, and now we're going to slide two more of the T-shaped thin lift arms over that. Tan bevel gear, and two red bushings, turn the model this way, we have this Unique little double pin connector. Next we have this axle with a stop. We're going to put a bushing on and then a small bevel gear. This 
start to slide it through, but not all the way through yet, because we need to drop a bevel gear in there, and then we can slide it all the way in. Alright, so that gear goes right in the middle. Have another bevel gear. That goes there. And you can turn it to make sure everything is in there nice and loose. You don't want it too tight. One more bevel gear right there. Okay, that looks good. Looks like everything is turning just fine. We have this eight long axle with a stop. And we're gonna put a tiny gear on there. And slide it down to where it hits those bushings. Those two pieces, we have a clutch gear that just sits right there for now. Gear here, so it's double clutching it. All right, so bring this over. This will line up with everything and attach right here. That red gear that turns everything. All right, that looks good. Move that to the side for a second. We have another little module to build. Getting about halfway done with the bags, number one. I'm noticing the pieces slowly starting to disappear. Okay. show a one-to-one -one diagram because there's quite a few of them in this bag so you have to make sure you use the right one Put 
that on the wrong side. So that goes through there. Axle joiner there. Another one of these bent lift arms. This way, we will slide the axle through. through there, and then this axle slides into there. everything there. Looking good so far. No issues with the build. It's it's complex. There's a lot of stuff going on here, but it's pretty straightforward that I haven't run into any type of issues yet. I don't want to jinx it either, so let's just keep on building. Actuator, so we could put this black bevel gear on there and then twist it. You can see it's slowly starting to come out. They show a one to one diagram, kind of like before, um, on how far they want you to extend it out. So that looks like about how far they want it. there. This piece going there. Put another couple of these guys. Oops. Lined up that way. This module will attach there. Five holes, put a pin in, skip one more, put a pin in. This goes here. This will go 
all the way across there. That just slides over that axle. It's not attached to anything just yet. We're gonna put a large gear right there. All right, so the next thing we're gonna build is the other um, steering hub, steer, steering axle piece. So we're gonna stop this video here because we've got um, the next portion is going to be pretty big, so uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out part three. This kind of concludes where we're at through uh, parts one and two. So we're definitely making some progress, but we still got a long ways to go. It's a big set, 2,000 pieces or 1,977, so it's going to take a little while. So appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to check out the next part, and we'll see you tomorrow.